The Greeks, in Age of Mythology, are pretty much the default sieve, but this doesn't mean they have the easiest archaic age build orders. In fact, due to them needing to pay for their granaries and storehouses, and have to build multiple of them, they have a wide variety of builds needed to get a decent advance time on all the possible map spawns. In this video, we'll cover all the Greek build orders you'll need in each potential land map spawns, which will be suitable for beginner players. If you want to understand more about the map spawns and how to scout, check out the first video in this series. The builds we'll cover are close to the meta build orders but give more room for mistakes while still giving good advance times and without needing to do things like force dropping resources or use hunt micro. But small improvements like this can be added and would bump up the efficiency of the builds. All the Greek gods have the same build order, however a great beginner option is Poseidon as he can pretty much always have a high hunt start because of his lord god power, giving him extra food without walking. Before we get into the builds, I've launched a Discord server to share all the builds with everybody. As each video drops, I'll update the Discord with the new builds. And yes, I will continue to do this for AOM Retold. The first build order is the High Hunt build order, and it says here that you'll need over 900 food in your starting location, and we definitely have more than that. I did say in the previous video that you need over 1000 food, but realistically, if you have 900 food, that gets you a 4.30 advance time. And if you're going for even up to a five minutes, you can put some goats with that. But if you don't want to move anything onto separate resources and just not worry about it, then you'll need over 1,000 food in your starting line of sight. Uh, once we built the granary, we get hunting dogs. Uh, that's the first four villagers go over to that. Then the second two villagers will move over to the nearest wood line or the safest wood line and drop a storehouse there. The next two villages after that will then move over to the gold mine. I've got here that the gold mine villager needs to build a house when you have 50 wood. As long as you build it before you get to let's say 14 out of 15 population that's the best time to drop the uh, to drop the house. Then after that you want to move your villagers over to the hunt. So you, because you have so much hunt you can just move all your villagers over there so we're saying the next five goes over there. And I have forgotten to build my house uh, but it's before 14 out of 15 population so it's absolutely fine. But it is a good idea to do it as soon as you get 50. It's just a good idea to find a place where you normally do it and do it there because otherwise you do forget or at least I do. Uh, now we have enough resources to build a temple that is 100 food and 100 gold and we will use the gold villager to do that because you don't really need any gold after um, after the temple gold unless you're building a jason out we will then move over villagers to the huntables if there isn't any hunt you can move them straight onto the goats and that is absolutely fine and then we will hit a good advance time there up to, anything up to a 430 there is amazing but even a little bit later isn't a big deal the second type of spawn is the medium hunt spawn, which is between around 500 food and 900 food. In this spawn we get two giraffes, which is 600 food, which means we will need to build another granary before we get to the classical age. This just means that the build order differs slightly from the high hunt build order. The most important thing to do with your scout is to find the second hunt source, and as you can see we find ours pretty much straight away and it's very close to the starting hunt as well, which is more than ideal. As in the first build, your first four villagers want to go to the starting hunt source, and the second two will go on to wood, which is just the same. With my scout, I'm looking around for extra hunt, just in case there's a better hunt source than the one I've already found. It isn't likely, but there could be the jackpot somewhere. As in the first build, the next two villagers will move over to the gold mine, and there we go, I'm, just, I'm also just collecting the pigs. Just a good thing to do with your scout. So the second one will move over and then the difference between the first build and the medium hunt build is you want to move your villagers onto a second food source instead of the home one. The reason for this is we don't want all of our villagers to finish up and then have no food income. It, it's, better, it's better to leave them at home uh, to not consume it too quickly and then the new villagers can move over straight over to this hunt source. It just makes things a lot more efficient. So we will send five villagers over to this new hunt source. After we've moved five villagers over, it's around the time that the temple will be going up. Rather than sending loads of villagers over to this new hunt source, it's a better idea to cut the walking time down and just put them on the close goats or pigs, whatever you've collected. There'll always be a couple of goats or pigs, so it's a definitely a good option. 
Around this time you'll also be needing to build a temple. Sometimes it's before the goats and sometimes it's afterwards. Uh, it just depends on the map spawn. And then I've got sending infinite villagers to goats until you get the 400 food relevant for the next age. The starting villagers finish up on their food and then I just move them over to the wood for efficiency's sake because I know that we've got the right amount of food to advance. But if you're not sure, just send a pig over there for them to finish up and then move them over to the wood afterwards. At the end of the video, I will show a good split for the villagers of where they should go as soon as you click up to the classical age. The next type of build is the low hunt build order. So this uses a very similar build order to the medium hunt. So in the graphic that I've made, I've put them together. So this is one of the hunt spawns where you get things like these two elks in loads of different places. So I think this map has three spawns of two elks, which is just horrible. Uh, but it just means you need to adapt your build order slightly. Just as the first and second build, we would be sending four villagers over to the food to start with. And then instead of the two to the wood, we'll actually be moving three over to the wood. Because if you need to build more, more than two granaries and two storehouses, then you just need an extra villager on the wood. You can move it over at any time, really, even after the gold. Uh, so even if you went two wood, other than two gold, then one extra for wood, you would still have the same amount anyway. You would still have enough, but it's just easier for the easy build orders to go for three wood and two gold. So here we go, we'll move these over to gold, and just as in the last build, when we get the wood for the house, we will start We will start to build it. We just have to realise that it's more important to build a granary rather than the house. Like, we technically have the wood now, uh, but we wouldn't want to do it because we want to make sure we can get these granaries up. Now we'll be moving five villagers over to a second hunt source again. My scouts found a really good second hunt source, so that's what I, that's what I decide to go for. As you can see, the initial villagers have, a have actually finished up. Now what I would probably do is rather than move everything out as, I as I've done here, I would actually split them up to do some a little bit closer because there will be a slight amount of inefficiency here where I don't have the villagers queuing for about five seconds. And that shouldn't really matter in your low level games, even the mid level games really. Five seconds here or there isn't really that much of a big deal, especially on such a low hunt spawn. As you can see, there was a there was a zero percent there for about a few seconds, but honestly, it isn't a big deal. We still get a very good advance time anyway. And as soon as you can, drop the temple that's 100 wood, 100 gold. And then as we drop the temple, that's the perfect time to start moving villagers over to the pigs or the goats, just because we don't want that extra walking time. It's just easier to do that. And we will keep sending them to the food as much as we need to before we get the advance time. So as you can see, we, uh, we click up here, which was a 350 something, which was about a few seconds delay from the actual advance time. Now the last type of spawn is the no hunt spawn and there's actually two versions for this. So this is the no hunt spawn but we find hunt within 45 seconds. So what we want to do is send the villagers over to the berry bushes but not build a granary because that will waste time and also wood. And I sent my scout down the bottom and then two of my goats up the top and used all my possible resources basically to find the hunt and then we and then we did manage to find it so, so what i did is i just moved all of my villages over to the hunt and we're going to move it up to seven now similar to the last one we do get a couple of seconds of inefficiency here where we're not building villages because i don't go for a force drop if, if i went for the force drop of the resources after i actually uh after I sent the villagers here, then we wouldn't have any efficiencies. We wouldn't have any inefficiencies, but again, for the beginner build orders, it's more about getting them in the right place rather than getting the perfect build order. Uh, so because we've sent seven straight away to the food, we're going to need extra wood for this. So we're going for three on the wood. Uh, I did show slightly that you could share the wood and the gold with the one storehouse, but because that isn't on every map. I didn't really want to do that. I'm just doing some hunt micro here, but you really don't need to do it. It's just something that I like to do because there's not a lot going on in, in the early game. So finding those efficiencies where we're losing them before is just something that I like, I like doing. So we went for the seven food, 
then three wood and three gold. The reason we're going for three gold is because we've our first ten villagers have gone somewhere else and we need the gold to get a temple up before a decent time. Then just as the last ones, at this point we don't want to walk too much so we just send the villagers to the goats and we will be sending two we'll be sending two villagers to build the temple rather than the one one is more efficient but it just takes it takes quite a long time and because we started to gather the gold really late we need the two villagers to get a decent advance time here i think i end up clicking up around just after 3 30 which is after the inefficiencies but it's a pretty good time for uh for a low hunt map and even if you go up 30 seconds later than this it's absolutely fine now we have the same type of spawn, but imagining that we don't find the hunt within 45 seconds. So I've just hit restart, we've done the same map, uh, and I'm, I'm going to scout as if I don't know. Uh, but if we find the giraffes, then we're just going to leave it. So just as the last build, we're going to send the first three villagers over to the berries, but not build a granary. And we're going to let them do that, even walking back to the town centre. Because if I was to find the hunt, say now, we're still... In a, we're still in a, a good spot and hunting is way better than collecting from the berries but we get to about 40 seconds here and it, it was clear that we weren't going to find any uh, even though obviously I, I had um, but what we do here is we build a granary on the berries and we get husbandry the reason we get husbandry is the low hunt maps always have a lot of goats or pigs or cows so we want to fatten these up because we'll be uh, we'll be we'll be collecting from those throughout the game. It's also just something where it just makes your villagers slightly more efficient because they won't have to walk back as much. You might get times where the villagers need force dropping, but I've tried to make the build because of the seven villagers you shouldn't need to force drop, but it might just be something that you need to look at right at the start. Uh, then we send some villagers over to the wood. So we're sending two over to the wood and then two over to the gold. So the reason that we're sending less over to the resources this time is we're only building the one granary so we only need two for food and as husbandry costs 50 gold less um, than the hunting dogs we only need two on the gold rather than the three. So we're basically going seven, two, two and then we're moving the villagers over to the goats which our scout will happily collect for us. Now, uh, similar to the last build, oh, we're actually going to forget a house. <laughs> we want to do the house with the, uh, with the gold villager. I think I was debating whether it needs to be the gold villager or the food or the wood villager, and it's definitely the gold villager because we have a lot of gold. Uh, now I'm just force dropping some of these. You you don't you don't need to do it. I was just move. I was just shift clicking them to the next goats. And then just as a last build, because it's a low hunt map, we're putting our temple really late, so we want both gold villagers to build the temple. And then we're just sending villagers to food until we have enough to advance. This is the only time you might need to force drop because your villagers have so much food in them because of the husbandry. I think I end up with over 500 here, uh, but it's just something that you might need to keep an eye on. And the only build that really needs for a force dropping is because of husbandry. I've mentioned throughout the video that you'll need to split your villagers up after you click up to the classical age. This is just a quick guide for three classical age splits for each of the sieves. So for example, if you wanted to go for a second town center as the Greek player, you would want five on food, seven on wood, six on gold. And the plus there is for when you build your town centers, where do you want these? Where do you want the extra resources to go to? So because you have the two town centers, you'd be moving them on to food and wood for the new villagers. And if you have any extra villagers because of the late advance time, you could also put them on the pluses.